I'm excited. I uh, was at my friend's birthday party. And she was wearing a tight leather dress. She looked gorgeous, but her boyfriend, who's stupid, told her that she needs to suck in her stomach. You don't say that to a woman, right? That is the worst possible thing you could say to a woman, especially on her birthday. So what happened, of course, they had a giant fight. He sat at the bar alone. She stormed off in a huff, and nobody had sex that night. Except for me, because I went home by myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Surprised you were willing to touch that hand. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't worry, I'm kidding. I use this hand. The thing is, <laughs> uh, you know, I care about food. I get excited by food. You guys get excited by food? Yeah, right? So like, I got so excited because this new restaurant opened up in my neighborhood. It was called Beyond Sushi. I'm like, oh my god, Beyond Sushi? What could that be? I already love sushi. Is it like instead of raw fish, do they just have a live fish swim into your face? Does the sushi chef come out and finger you? Like, what happens at Beyond Sushi, right? So I go there, all excited. Turns out it's just a vegan restaurant, right? So it's just the stuff that like surrounds sushi. It's like cucumber and carrot and rice. I'm like, this is not Beyond Sushi. This is before sushi, okay? So when the bill came, I left a maxed out credit card. They were like, you can't pay with this. There's no more credit. I'm like, that's right. It's beyond credit. <laughs> uh, um, I was raised by a single mother. So I had a grandma who was around all the time. She helped raise me. She was actually like a father to me, my grandma. She even had the beard. She always made sure that I had a very high sense of self-esteem and that's important, you gotta feel good about yourself, right? My grandmother always said to me, she goes, you know, you're not gorgeous, you're not beautiful, but you have a face. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma, now I know what to put on my Tinder profile. <laughs> hey guys, are you looking for a girl with a face? You gotta feel sorry for my grandmother because my poor grandma, her entire life to this day, she's in her 90s, she still suffers from urinary tract infections, always with a cranberry, don't feel too bad, it's because She's a whore, and I mean, I love my grandma, I respect her, she's a good person, but I gotta tell you guys the truth, like, this woman has literally fucked her way through the 1970s, the 80s, the 90s, and now Century Village in Boca Raton, Florida, okay? Like, there's not a man who can walk down the street with a cane that is safe from that hoe, is what I'm trying to tell you. The guy I'm dating is short, I'm also very short. And ladies, I gotta tell you, I really enjoy dating a short guy because short guys appreciate you more. Because think about it. Their entire lives they've been rejected by women who were taller than them because women will not date a guy who is shorter than they are. They will not do it. Look at you. I see you bitches nodding. I won't do it. Look at this. I won't date a guy who's shorter than me. And you're tall too. You have lots of room, bitch. I see your legs. Okay? Very shallow, ladies. Very shallow. And not only is that shallow, but you're missing out. Because not only are shorter guys usually nicer than tall guys are, but they always have bigger penises than tall guys do. And if they don't, they certainly look like they do. <laughs> Short guys always want to make sure to please you, you know, they want to make sure their girl is really happy all the time. In the beginning of our relationship, he would bend over backwards just to make sure that I was happy. When he bent over backwards, you couldn't even tell because that's how fucking short he was. <laughs> I'm gonna get real for a second, let's get real. All right, a lot of my girlfriends, they tell me that they enjoy being choked during sex. Any other ladies want to admit to that in this room? Oh, there goes one. All right. There we have one over there. Okay. Wasn't even done with the question yet. Okay, calm down. Yeah, all right. A lot of girls like this. If that's your thing, I don't judge, okay? But personally, I don't understand this need that people have where they want to mix pain with pleasure. I don't get it. To me, life is already so difficult and painful as it is. I'm finally having a few moments of physical pleasure. Can I just enjoy myself for a second? Do I have to worry that I might choke to death while I'm being fondled? Really? You see, it doesn't make sense. People always want to get choked while they're having sex, but nobody ever wants to have sex while they're choking. <laughs> Think about it. You will never be at dinner with somebody where they're choking on a piece of broccoli. Going, <coughs> please, can somebody please fuck me right now? It's just never gonna happen. You babysit my cousin who's 11, she's adorable. If you've ever, anybody deal with an 11 year old in your life, that's when they turn, right? She's so cute, but now she'll have these bipolar fits, like big temper tantrums. I don't know how to deal with it. I looked it up, they give you four C's to remember when she's having a fit. Okay, number one, I didn't create this. I can't control this. I can only cope with this. She's a cunt. That's pretty much. 
I was showing her old fairy tales, you know, and then I realized that because of the hashtag Me Too movement, a lot of women want to change the endings of fairy tales now because they don't like the way the guy is always rescuing the girl at the end. They want her to be more independent. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, Snow White, she eats the poisonous apple, she falls into a deep sleep, and then the prince kisses her and she wakes up. Well, now there's a new ending. What happens is when he kisses her and she wakes up, she just punches him right in the balls. She's like, can't you see him sleeping, motherfucker? <laughs> I took this ambient on purpose. I'm coming off a cocaine binge. How do you think I got the name Snow White? But it's really women who are mean to other women in fairy tales though. Like even in Snow White, right? It was the evil queen who throws Snow White out of the kingdom because she's jealous of her beauty. She throws her into the woods and that's when she meets the seven dwarves and they let her stay at their house. They're all really nice guys, short guys with very large penises. 